How to make sure your prospective customers aren't confused by your marketing message. It happens more often than you think. Here's why. So you're an expert in whatever it is you sell and deliver. That's why you sell and deliver. You're an expert. You understand all the fancy words and terms, the nomenclature, which is a fancy word for vocabulary. You know, use all those words in your day-to-day world. If you start using those in your marketing, however, with people who are your customers, they don't know those words and you'll confuse them. For example, if you're a chiropractor and there's something wrong with these vertebra being out of alignment, you call that a subluxation. I'm not a chiropractor. I'm a chiropractic patient, and I call that a backache, a pain, a crunch. Something's wrong back there. I don't call it a subluxation. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you use those words in your marketing, you totally lose me as soon as you say them. Have you ever heard the idea that only an expert can explain something simply? Like only a really great expert can explain something that a five-year-old can understand. That's what you have to do in your marketing. Not because your patients or your prospective new customers are idiots. They just don't know the words that you know. So you got to kind of make it accessible to them. Let them know that you do understand what you're talking about, but put it in terms that they understand. So don't try to impress anybody with your big vocabulary. Impress them with the results you get once they get in as a customer.